And we'll turn it over to you, Kerry. Thank you for joining us. All right. Um, so last week was a, uh, I thought we had a great week of practice. Um, obviously, you know, we, we lost a lot of production, uh, losing Amara and Tyler Vaughns. They've been uh, players here for a while for us. And, um, you know, obviously, uh, Drake is is back and 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 uh, leading the group, and, and we're excited about that, and we're excited about uh, the other guys in the room that are uh, uh, ready for for this opportunity. You know, there's a lot of guys that are um, competing for some spots, and and um, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited for these guys to 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 have their time, and and um, I think we had a great week of practice last week, and we got to put another one uh, putting another one together this week, and and uh, We'll just we'll take it from there and and um, you know I just think uh, obviously there's a standard in the room that that that's very high and um, I think the guys are up to the challenge and and uh, upholding the standard and, and raising the bar honestly um, so uh, like I said before you know it 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 is led by Drake and um, you know he's had a, a great two seasons and and uh, really excited about you know uh, his his third year. And uh, his growth, and, and honestly, you know, this is the first time he's had a true off season and uh, strictly football. And uh, you know, you can kind of tell. I, I feel like his body is changing. Um, you know, I just think that you know, with continued reps and time, you know, he's uh, he's continuing to dominate and, and at the position and, and just become a, a force in college football. Okay, thank you, Kerry. With, uh, with that, we'll take questions from the media for either Kerry or Drake. Uh, we'll start with Shotgun. Hey, Kerry, what does Katie Nixon add to the room for you guys in the wide receivers? Uh, he has a bunch of experience. Um, you know, obviously playing uh, at the University of Colorado, you know, he, he played there, had a bunch of catches and touchdowns. And, um, you know, he's an older guy. He's, he's, the, he's the vet in the room. And, um, you know, uh, aside from just his playing experience, he brings uh, energy. Uh, he brings, a, a, you know, he's very positive. Um, you know, everybody loves him on the team and in the room. And, and uh, he's a vet, man. He's a, he's a pro. I've been in, obviously, in the NFL. And, you know, uh, when they say, you know, guys are vets or guys are pros and stuff like that in the NFL, you know, KD is that version of that in college football. I mean, you know, he... He's taking notes in meetings. Um, he'll do whatever he has to do for the team. I mean, he's motivating guys. He's pushing guys. And uh, but at the same time, you know, he's out there to, to 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 do a job and compete and make plays and help the team win in any fashion. Uh, Ryan Parchi, you're up. Great, Kiri mentioned that this is your first full off season. How different is that, Ben, just to be able to have all that time to, to focus mainly on football? Um, it's been it's been great just to focus solely on one sport. Um, just going out there and competing with the guys day in and day out. Um, it definitely has helped me um, and it definitely has been fun. How much of a difference do you feel like that'll make just having this time to even just sort of experiment with things as opposed to just sort of being thrust into fall camp, you know, right away? It's like night and day, to be honest. Um, just like Coach Casey said, just getting reps, constantly getting reps um, has definitely helped me. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty much night and day. Okay, uh, Ryan Abraham. Hey, uh, Kerry, you talked about losing Amon Ross St. Brown and, uh, and Tyler Ponds. How different is that receiver room, those meetings feel without those two veterans uh, in the group? Yeah, uh, it's different. But um, honestly, I think at the start of each season, um, you know, each room is going to be different. Each team is going to be different. We're all, you know, that's the great thing about football, the great thing about sports. Um, you know, you create new identities each year. And, you uh, you kind of gel the pieces that you have in the room together. And uh, at the end of the day, you kind of see how it fits. And uh, of course, losing those two, got two guys, uh, again, a bunch of experience and hist play history. And, and um, but, uh, you know, I'm excited for the guys in the room. And I think, you know, some of the guys in the room have different skill sets. And, um, you know, I look forward to them 
you know, kind of raising that, that, that bar, that standard. Um, and then honestly, just putting their, their stamp on, on a season and on their room, it's their room now, you know what I mean? So um, that's every season, you know, when you lose guys, um, we just have to establish our identity as a wide receiver room. Drake, maybe any thoughts on that too, you being uh, with those guys gone from the room? Yeah, it definitely is different. Um, without those guys there, I mean, I've been behind people like Michael Pittman, Amara on TV, um, and stepping up into that role um, pretty quick, actually. I mean, it's gone by so fast, but um, our room is is like a family. I think we're close. We're closer than we have ever been. Okay, uh, Mark Culkin. Good morning, uh, Drake. You know. Coaches always talk about their players and, and their, their attributes and their strengths. If you could take a few minutes, talk about Coach Colbert and what he brings to the room and, and you know, why players want to play for him. Because he's such a soft-spoken, intense guy. You don't really hear a lot about him. Um, there's one word that I'll describe, uh, Casey, and he's just real. He's, he's real with you, um, and he's there to help you um, in every aspect, whether it's on the field or, or off the field. Um, and I think that people want to play for him and players want to play for him is because he, he is real with you in the fact that he's not going to hold anything back. He's not to say so blunt, but he's going to let you know the truth and he's going to help you with that. And you've been talking about, you know, Amon Ra and Tyler Vaughn, so these guys have, who are gone now. What are some of the things that you've picked up from them uh, that you're going to carry over as, you know, the leader of the room, so to speak? Just leading by example, um, how they practice, how they go about their business outside of practice, um, just all the little things that they've, that they've taught me. And um, like I said, like Pittman, I um, also learned from him. So just trying to take every like little bits from all of them and um, trying to implement it into my leadership. Okay, we'll go to Antonio. Carrie, um... Gary didn't get a full spring last year and was kind of thrust into the season with an abbreviated uh, training camp. What do you want to see from him this spring as his, as his role expands? Uh, I mean, honestly, I just want to see him compete and, and uh, you know, play fast and, and uh, just play well within the offense. And I think he's, he had a great week last week. And we, we joked about it, uh, he and I, uh, because we were looking at day one, a spring, last spring compared to like where he is now and it's night and day. I mean, he's a, he was a great player coming in, but just, um, I think any freshman, there's a, there's a, there's a slight transition from, from learning the plays to playing fast and just having that confidence. And I mean, it's, it, we, we literally joked about it and, and, um, you know, I think he's, he has a, a confidence within the offense right now. He knows, uh, what he's doing and, and what is, what is expected of him. And uh, he's out, he's out there just you know ready to, to play and compete and uh, make plays. So um, you know I think uh, obviously there's always uh, a lot that comes with uh, uh, the expectations of, of of the high school players, you know. But at the end of the day, you know we always talk about um, kind of just creating and going down our own path and 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 kind of not really worrying about you know uh, other people's paths or tracks and and just appreciating our, our journey, you know what I mean? So he's done a great job with that. I'm excited about uh, him this spring and this season. And I know Josh Jackson isn't in your position room anymore, but what's it like seeing him out there uh, making plays at DB? Uh, it was, I mean, it was awesome to see him make that play the other day. I mean, obviously I was a little, uh, the bias side of me, the receiver side of me wanted us to, to, to not allow them to, to get that interception, but it was a great play. Um, he's having fun, you know, smile on his face. Uh, he's taking the new challenge in stride and, and, and really um, it was something that he wanted to do, you know, and, and uh, you know, I'm happy for him in that sense of that, you know, that was where he felt led and, 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 and you see him having early success. You know, I think he has a lot of um, upside and, and, and growth opportunity, you know, the more and more he plays position and um, you know, he's a, he's a talented uh, football player, obviously, to be able to, you know, play on both sides of the ball. Okay, uh, back to Ryan Karchi. 
Here, you mentioned the benefit of just Drake having this off season. As far as you see it, what is the next step you'd like to see in, in his development? Uh, honestly, um, you know, I think we've, we've talked about some things and, and, you know, uh, his first couple of years, he played a lot on the inside because of, uh, you know, Pittman and Amara and Tyler Vons. And that's just the way it worked out, um, with trying to get our best four on the field was to have them inside and, and Drake owned it. You know what I mean? He, he was, he, he was, uh, head above shoulders, you know, uh, better on the inside, but I think we've talked about it for him this season. Um, just wanting to get him better, uh, not better, but just wanting to give him experience on the outside as well. You know what I mean? And just, um, so when, so he can check all the boxes, um, you know, for, uh, a complete wide receiver, you know what I mean? We don't, we don't want to leave any room for anybody to, to, to have anything negative to say, you know? So we've talked about it. Um, he's taking that in stride as well, playing on the outside. And um, obviously, I, uh, honestly, um, you know, he, he's, he's just as good inside or outside. He can do it all. And uh, I think that's the best thing about, you know, his game is that uh, you can play him on the inside or outside and you're going to get the same results at the end of the day. He's going to make the play. I don't know. We haven't talked to anyone about Taj Washington. Uh, obviously, you won't get him until fall, but what does he bring to the room as far as you see it? I don't know if I can talk about him, so I'm not going to. Can you not? Yeah, yeah. Not, no, no. Okay, nope. not yet. No, nope. no. Nope. Okay, let's go to uh, Claudette Addison. Uh, Claudette Addison. Okay, uh, we'll skip and go to Ryan Young. Uh, Kerry, building off that with Drake working on the outside this spring. Do you see him out there primarily in the fall, or is he going to be mixing and matching? Uh, I don't know yet, honestly. Uh, we'll figure that out uh, once we get closer to the season. I think right now um, it's really just about the development of the players. Um, and then we'll develop uh, the players within the system, and we'll kind of see how it fits when you put all the pieces together. So, um, you know, right now the great thing about spring is that, you know, there's really no depth charts, you know what I mean? Like people go out there with groups and, and at certain times, but at the end of the day, uh, it's about everybody getting the reps and uh, everybody just competing. And then once we get to training camp, we'll kind of, we'll mix and match and we'll, we'll get our best people out there. Uh, so I can't answer that right now, but um, again, it, it was more about uh, trying to give him the experience uh, of playing inside and outside so he can develop and, and um, you know, uh, make him make him whole more whole as a wide receiver. And and for you, Dre, is that an opportunity you wanted to be able to showcase yourself on the outside? I know you played out there in high school, or how do you kind of see this uh, this chance? Um, definitely, I I definitely wanted to showcase uh, my talent out there. Um, and like Coach has said and reiterated a, a ton of times, um, the spring ball is is really for practice and just trying out new things. And um, just trying to figure it out. And this is my first uh, off season with the team. So, as much as I can get reps outside, I'm, I'm going to do it. Okay, uh, Haley Sawyer. Hello, um, Drake. I know you're not on a team anymore, but how much do you play basketball just on your own time, maybe for fun to shoot around? And I mean, how much has basketball helped you overall as an athlete, too? Um, as of right now, I haven't been playing too much basketball. I do miss it a little bit, but, um, basketball has helped me a ton in, in football. Um, like as if a jump ball is same as a rebound, um, crossovers for my releases. It, it definitely has helped me, um, and pushed me in my game, uh, in football. Okay. We'll try a Claudette. Are you there? Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. Um, my question's for Drake. Just wondering, any regrets on not playing basketball this year after they had such a successful season, especially in the tournament? There's a part of me. Um, I wouldn't say regrets, regrets, but um, definitely missed misses it a little bit. But um, I think I, I made the right decision, um, and I'm going to stand on that. Uh, Ryan Abraham. 
Hey, Drake, I uh, just wanted to get your impressions on uh, the two freshman quarterbacks, Jackson Dart and uh, Nick Moss. But they've, you know, three practices in, but what have they looked like to you so far? They both look um, really, really good from uh, my point of view. Um, they're very, they're very, uh, I wouldn't say ballsy, but they, uh, they, they're just good players overall. Um, they bring different aspects to the game. Um, each one has their own little uh, type of skill set. And I mean, they're showing out and they're, and they're doing their job. So I'm, I'm, I mean, can't really say much. On the other side of the ball, how about any of the young uh, defensive backs? Uh, anyone stand out to you or how, how they look so far? To be honest, I haven't really gone against uh, too many of the young uh, DBs. I've only been able to watch. But uh, so far, I mean, they've been doing great. Uh, Ryan Karchi. Hey, Kerry, any of the young guys in particular? Uh, kind of stand out to you in this first week? Young guys, you talking about just overall on the team? I'm, I meant wide receivers even. Oh, just wide really, receivers. If, if there's anyone else on the team, that'd be interesting too. Um, um, I mean, honestly, I think, uh, you know, all of everybody was, was made some plays this, this past week, you know, um, obviously, uh, for the from a receiver standpoint, Michael Jackson is is the young guy in our room that's new um, as far as you know being a, a mid year enrollee. Um, I thought he had a, a really good week. Um, you know, he's 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 learning. Um, he's learning uh, obviously the playbook. Um, he's very competitive. He has a great skill set. He made some plays. He's very fast. I mean. Uh, you guys are out there. He's 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 talented. He had a he had a, he had a good week. I'm excited about him and and what he brings to the room. Um, and I thought he I, honestly I think he's had a uh, one of the better um, off season conditioning program and and just uh, you know just seeing that kid work you know from running and lifting again he's very serious. Um, you know he he he's doing he's doing well for himself and I think it's it's great that he's here early. Um, but also, you know, the other guys in the room um, has uh, have made plays. Obviously, KD is new, um, but obviously has experience. Um, you know, he made some plays this week as well. Uh, we're kind of moving him around a little bit. And, and again, that's the great thing about how we're doing it this spring, which we hadn't done it in the past. In the past, we were kind of just kind of, we put people where they play and, and, you know, we've been moving guys in and out, you know? So um, I think the more the merrier, and, and the more things that guys can do, I think it'll be it'll be great for us once the season starts. What anything in particular precipitate you guys moving guys around more? Or was that just something you thought, you know, we haven't done this before, maybe we'll try it? Well, I think it comes with, you know, uh, the amount of guys that we've we've lost over the last, you know, couple seasons, obviously with with Pittman and and Amara and Tyler, you know, those guys have been holding down some spots for for some years and now, you know, you got a bunch of spots open. So now it's, it's, it's just easier to kind of move guys around a little bit uh, as opposed to in the past where, you know, those guys were, were you know, Tyler was the Z and, and Pittman was the X and, and Amara played, you know, inside and outside a little bit for us. But, you know, now that it's so open, um, you know, we just kind of felt that it was best just to kind of mix and match and, and, and really see, uh, where again, this the identity of this wide receiver room uh, can be at its best, and uh, the only way to figure that out is just to kind of move the pieces around and uh, let them go out there and, and put it on tape. And then at the end of the day, you know, we'll we'll, we'll present it in in September. Okay, we'll do a couple more questions. I'll, I'll go to Mark Calkin first. Coach, um, but the way you played the game, you were you know kind of a physical player, and that's the what's kind of going on in camp right now. You're, you guys are building a lot of, of a physical mentality in your wide receiver room. Who kind of played the game the way you did when you were playing? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's hard to say. I think everybody's different. You know what I mean? And, and, you know, I don't think that I dang wrote the Bible on receiver play or anything like that, but um, 
I don't know. It's probably a combination or, or honestly, all the guys, I think, you know, they all possess and I think it's, it's part of recruiting, right? You're going to, you're going to recruit what you, um, you know, what is important to you. So I think all the guys kind of possess some toughness to them. Um, but you know, they're all, they're all different skill sets. I mean, you know, from, from KD to Drake, I mean, I'm talking about the tallest to the smallest, um, all these dudes will get in there and mix it up. Uh, they're tough in the run game. They run good routes. Um, they're good at the, at the, at the point of, uh, you know, catching the ball at a high point or at any point of catching the ball. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't know, you know, they're all different and, and I don't, I don't know if it's to say, you know, shoot, they, they probably better than me anyway. You know what I'm saying? I don't, they probably want to be com compared to Robert Woods and Juju's and, and, and Amaraz and stuff like that anyway. So that'll probably uh, set them up. That'll probably be better for their future. So. Okay. Well, thanks again. Okay. And then we'll take our last question from Ryan Young. Uh, Kerry, is, is Michael Jackson, impressed you or surprised you in any way in particular or i'll ask you a different way what's the area he's he's grown the most since you started recruiting him uh not a surprise at all um obviously uh he was he was an early commit for us um you know getting to know he him and his family um over the process you kind of you learn about him you know what i mean and, and so you know he came to camp and uh for a couple of years, he was the fastest man in camp when he came. He competed then, you know, he competes now. Um, you know, he didn't get to play a season last year and, and I got to communicate with him all year. And and literally almost every time I was talking to him, he was either doing school or he was at the at his gym working out. Um, so, uh, you know, it doesn't surprise me just because I, I know what type of uh, young man he is and, um, you know, it's just good to see in person and it's good to kind of uh, to, to finally work with them, you know, and um, obviously um, I'm excited about the opportunity to help him grow as a player and as a young man. But, um, you know, again, he, he did a great, great job, uh, you know, thus far, you know, especially uh, week one of, of spring ball. So I'm excited, you know, for for what he's going to do in his career. Thank you. All righty, uh, Kerry, Drake, thanks for joining us. Great job today. We appreciate your time. Uh, just a reminder to the media that today's practice will be at the Coliseum. Uh, there's a few changes to, that I need to alert you to. First of all, practice has been moved back to uh, the media viewing part of practice starts at 355, 55. Um, I'm, I'm going to send you all an email on this. I do need um, you to contact me this morning to let me know if you're coming so I can put your name on a, a list and parking will be through gate 16 on Bill Robertson way on the west side of the Coliseum. I'll give you all that info, but please send me by noon today uh, if you plan to attend practice. Okay, and with that, uh, we will see you all. Drake London, Drake London, best receiver out of 805. See you. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's not possible, but thank you. All right, you guys. Thanks.